Well, hey ho ho peeps. Um, just a little quick one here for all those that think that um, independents and other garages take, basically take the mickey out of you and they say, oh, for example, you come in with a broken shock or a broken spring and they say, oh, well, you, this one's gone. We advise changing them in the pair and you go, oh, that one ain't broken. So no, just do the one, you rip off mar merchants. Well, basically, that is true. Not that we're rip-offs, but it's ideal to change the pair because basically well, I had this little fella come in a nice little Citroen C3 as you can see up in here we've got a lovely new spring we've got a brand new little drop link where is he over there um, come in spring knackered uh, so we've replaced drop link spring everything else um, this was Saturday we're now on Wednesday and uh, it's back and the reason it's back is there's the other spring which isn't doing it any good it's chewed through the ABS ring it's eight in the back of the tire things like that but this is the reason why a lot of mechanics do tell you that when if something goes on one side we advise to change both both sides even down to things like a light bulb if one goes on the driver's side, give it a few days or a week or two and it will go on the passenger side as well. Um, that's why we advise to change everything in pairs. So for those of you that are a bit dubious about us mechanics who say, you know, you've got to change them in a pair and you go, no, 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 you rip off, ripping me off. It, it's, it's true, it's advisory to change them in pairs because if one's, as you can understand, one's broken because it's weak, that means that the other side is obviously as well been weakened, so eventually that will break. So just a little bit of advice for you all um, in regards to if you think that we take the mickey out of you lot. Some of us do, not justifying that, but that's why we advise to change things in pairs. Anyway, take care, bye.